Found you. What's going on guys? Welcome to an episode of Mav where we do hunting, fishing, camping, everything outdoors. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Maverick. Um, I like to sleep in the back of my truck sometimes. And if you're not new to the channel, you know that my truck camper setup was not exactly ideal for the last couple months. So I used to sleep in the back of my truck on a cot. Today that's all gonna change. I'm gonna do a build. Two things that are important to me on a build. One, I'm not great with woodworking, so it's gotta be easy and it's gotta be able to be taken on my truck easily. So two is that it has to be good on storage. I have to be able to get easy access to all my stuff. I don't wanna waste a single space. So my friend Hannah and I are meeting up. She uh, has a YouTube channel of her own. I'm gonna link it in the description. So she built her own camping setup. She actually lives in her van full time, which is pretty cool. Um, she's got all the sorts of power tools. I don't have any power tools here, so I need to get over to her place and I need to get on this build stat because Every day on this thing is time that I could be fishing or time that I could be on the road. So let's get over to her house. Let's start building and uh, hopefully it turns out the way I want it to. So since you're filming, you're not going to help, are you? Mm -mm. All right, I guess I'll help. All right. So the first step was to get our 2x4 out and start measuring and cutting. This 2x4 was supposed to be used for our side wall pieces and that's what I'm doing here, just making supports for the side. Originally these side pieces were going to rest on the wheel well, but after some tinkering around I realized that the wheel well being curved and all makes it a, makes it a liability for it to slide off. So I opted out of that, ended up raising it about a quarter inch above the wheel well and the rest was just figuring out where the feet should go for support and then just figuring out what should be done with the middle of the truck bed. All right, so not going to be bashful. I have no idea what I'm doing with power tools. Um, Hannah is by far way more experienced with woodworking than I am. Um, I've built a couple skateboard ramps and stuff back in the day, but I've never done anything that needs this type of support. I'm a big kid. I'm pretty fat. I come in at uh, about 100 pounds. So having a lot of support for me is a really, uh, really key. He has no idea what he's doing. As you can tell, these boards are super secure. Really sturdy. Well, if we had a drill that was a little more charged, I think it would be a better task. I like my hand here, like I'm doing something. Oh! Hey! Hey! What's going on? That's nice! <laughs> Even a dead drill can still screw. So, special note of caution, don't use a drill that's not charged. Um, throughout the night, Hannah and I would switch out drills and each one was just as dead as the next. Alright, should we do the metal board now because these are so beautiful? Mm -hmm. All right, now that we had our two beautiful support pieces done on the side, we had one to do in the middle. So we started off with a 1x10 piece of pine. With the grooves in my truck bed liner, I thought it would be perfect if the 1x10 would fit inside, but we realized quickly that those gaps were only a half inch big. So we decided to mill them down with the table saw, and the rest is history. That's like perfect. That is perfect. Yeah, it'd be so nice if somebody was like able to help. An extra couple hands. You got it by yourself. You got it. I think I need your hands. I need you to hold one of these. You need me to what? I need you to hold one side of it. Oh, okay. It's a lot easier with two hands, Gotta right? wipe down the wood real quick. So the next step was to get the slats done. So we started off with a one by six. We cut five slats for the back. That took up most of our night, and then all we had to do was get them secured. <laughs> yeah. You sleep on it right now? I'm going to bed. All right, see you. You can cut out the plywood alone, right? Yeah, no, I'm good. So the final step of the night was to get the top decking on. So I ended up using three pieces of half inch plywood. I made each piece of plywood go vertically so they went the long way instead of the short way. This just makes it easier for me when I want to take it out of my truck. Um, I can just stand up my tailgate and take them out easily one by one. I don't have to crawl back into the truck bed to grab the last piece or the middle piece. Not only does this make it easier to take out, but it also makes it stronger. Um, the wood grains going vertical rather than horizontal makes it able to flex less. Um, it's not gonna make a huge difference, but you know, I like to tell myself I do things for the right reasons. So eventually night turned into morning and I made another run of Menards. Uh, this time I got tracks for my drawers, more wood for the drawers because I was being stupid and didn't buy enough the first day. 
and another bunch of miscellaneous items. So for starters here, I'm picking up some uh, some plywood for my drawers. Um, I need some one by nines and a couple of sheets of plywood. So my truck has a plastic bed liner in it, which makes it very slidable, but I also wanna have the wood surface be as slick as possible. So this composite style plywood here for, meant for decking really is gonna shine in that regard. Um, this is a 12 foot long strip, and I think I can just cut it right down the middle here and end up having just one of these tracks for each side, so let's, uh, let's get after it. Let's, let's do this thing. All right, well, I just bought uh, turnbuckles for safety precautions, of course, just to keep the, uh, you know, the frame tied down to the bed. And it's, it's gonna be a little more of a pain in the ass to put in than I thought. So after those turnbuckles were installed, it was time to get cracked on the doors. I had a bunch of pine left over and I already had my plywood cut, so it was pretty easy. First things first was to get things framed out. Um, I ended up screwing together the two pieces of one by eight and then screwing together the next two pieces of one by eight to form a square. I left the faces off the drawer just to make it easier on myself at the end. I thought it would be easier to line up the face, face of the drawer at the end rather than just to put it on there blindly. So after the drawers were assembled, I checked for fitting, made sure it fit right, and then I made the tracks. So I had to cut my little composite wood right in half, which was ever so sketchy. And then I put that plastic piece, measured it out, and uh, made sure it rode on my track just fine. It rode very smooth. It pulls out really nice, even on full weight, and actually the drawers support the whole weight of me. So, I don't know, 200 pounds? Just kidding. I wish, I wish. After the drawers are done, I decided that I needed to get some uh, get some surfacing on that on that good old plywood decking that I had. So I'm not really a fan of carpet. I decided to use turf. I saw some pictures on Instagram of people using turf on their uh, truck camping setups or inside their trucks. I thought it was pretty cool to have like grass on the inside. So it gives me the uh, the placebo effect of me sleeping outside when I'm actually inside my truck. So that's cool. Um, but anyway, my next my next step was to cover these three pieces of plywood and in turf and then uh, try to get them back in the truck, which after adding thick turf to plywood that already fits snug in your truck, it fit very, very snug. All right, guys, so it's another day. I basically just finished making this drawer yesterday. As you can see, I did the tracks again on it. It's looking pretty good so far. What's left to do with the back here is I gotta put some faces on these drawers. I gotta put my, install my handles, which are right here. I then have a, uh, a, a truck bed platform to sleep on, so that's that's step number one. I'm gonna go ahead, right now, I noticed, I noticed yesterday when I was putting these boards on, that this piece right here looks a little jank. I mean, that wood's kinda junk. It's nice and cracked, and it's a little thin, so I'm actually gonna cut out a new support piece there, and I'm gonna add two support pieces right here. So, if I decide I wanna jump around or have a pillow fight in here. I really should probably have a support piece right there, so we're just gonna go ahead and add it. I don't wanna don't wanna deal with the repercussions later. So you can see that fix the wood up, got some supports in. Um, this is gonna be like a pretty weight bearing spot here. This might be where I mount my fridge or cooler or whatever. So it's kind of important that I have supports there. they are messy. Um, the other thing is, I know I could get by with just having one screw in on each side, but I'm thinking that once I have these drawers fully loaded, if I find out some way to lock these things down, all that pressure of the drawers right on that support. It is a little important that I have two screws in there just so it doesn't pull out or split it up. All right. Now, what are we gonna do? We're gonna make faces for the for the drawers and that'll be it's one of the final steps. So I actually lied right here. I actually made a nightstand table to hold my battery and to hold miscellaneous items next to my bed instead of making these faces of the drawers. All right, so. There's my piece. I just need to duplicate it. 
And then uh, I got myself a shelf frame. What I did is I traced out some cardboard pieces and brought them inside the truck. Um, tried to get it to fit snug with my topper, where my topper meets my truck bed. Didn't really work out how I planned, but it left a nice little gap space for cords because um, it is going to be a battery compartment. So not the end of the world. Turned out all right. And uh, I guess I, I should show you the finished product. All right, guys. Well, I got my shelf done. Um, as you can see, I just kind of jigsawed out a little hole here. This is just so stuff that I put in the shelf doesn't slide out. And then I made a little ridge on the top here. So when I put like, I don't know, a notebook or maybe my laptop will sit up here. Just won't slide out while I'm driving. Um, and I made this just because I wanted it to go over my power source. I can make a video going over what I did to rig up this battery and how I'm gonna charge it. Um, it's actually running off my car's alternator. So um, I've got a 750 watt inverter. And then this will slide over everything. Kind of like so. And I actually built a little door. I gotta get hinges for it, but that's gonna go like right there. All right, so that's what that's gonna be like. My mattress is gonna be right here. Yeah. So. All right, and then there's the there's the drawers. So, got the faces on. You can see it sits nice and flush with the turf. And you pull this thing out. We got some dividers, and I've actually already started packing. So got all my spices, silverware, knives, utensils, measuring cups. I have a specific drawer for coffee, very important. Camp stove, can have extra propane, all that stuff. And then this is just free range. Right now it has a light in it. I have to install these lights yet, but... Let me know what you guys think, if I should bring this my trip or not i'm very tempted i haven't snowboarded in like three years so i'm i'm pretty pretty want to do that pretty bad but anyway thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode um this has been obviously a lot different than some of the other things i've been posting but this needed to happen in order for me to keep doing what i'm doing took a long while um like i said i'm not an experienced woodworker at all pretty woodworking impaired um oh yeah another thing I'm working on some stuff on my roof, so if you guys are curious, I can go through my roof rack a little more. I'm supposed to get on the road in four days, so <laughs> it's crazy how fast that's coming up. I'm waiting on a couple more things to come, like my cooler, my fridge, but other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm ready to go. If you guys know anybody out in the West Coast area, that's where I'm going to be going. I'm actually going all the way up to Washington. Um, I'm driving from Minnesota. I'm going all the way to Washington, and then I'm actually, my end destination is Sausalito, California, so if any of you guys are on the West Coast or you know anybody on the West Coast that might want to fish with me, let me know because I'm going to be out there for the next three weeks and I literally have nothing planned. I'm just flying by the seat of my pants on this thing and uh, praying that it works out. But I got a couple more things left to do today. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. Once again, my name is Maverick and I appreciate you guys so much for taking some time out of your day and watching me. Um, thank you guys again for all the continuous support and thank you again to everybody that helped me with this build. My dad, um, Hannah, and... I guess just give myself a little one of those. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in this episode of Mav. Till next time, my name is Maverick, and keep on trucking.